Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and a happy peak of the week Wednesday to you. Let's take a look here at your pinpoint water vapor satellite over the last 24 hours. One storm system departs. That one brought us a ton of rain. In fact, we're still feeling the effects from that as water continues to flow down the Colorado River. We're uh, seeing flood stage being met uh, at the uh, Colorado River at Colorado City. The uh, lake gauge at Lake Colorado City is actually showing some movement up on the north end of the lake and hasn't seen that in years. So good news there. Wind for the watersheds. Now our next storm just back up here to the Pacific Northwest that's beginning to carve its way out into the Rockies and as that drops to the south, the jet stream kicks out into parts of New Mexico. Now that will be a player in our weather, especially tomorrow, but it looks like even today we could see a little active weather associated with that. In the last 12 hours, you've seen a lot of the precip generally up here along the Interstate 40 corridor west of I-25 in New Mexico. But again, as that system drops southward, uh, this activity inches closer and closer to the area. And while we've seen a lot of clear skies this morning, we are expecting those clouds to continue increasing into the afternoon time frame here. We'll also see a chance of a few thunderstorms. Now I'm, I'm, I'm a little on the fence with this. The model data that we use here is trying to generate a lot of thunderstorm activity from you know, just west of Lubbock all the way back down through southeast of Mexico into the upper Transpagus back toward the Davis Mountains. This is a possibility, but I think the models are getting a little bit carried away here given the amount of surface moisture we have. The dew points uh, were really scoured. Uh, you know, the moisture was scoured out of the area by that cold front that moved through the uh, day before yesterday. And so as a result, uh, we are getting that southerly return flow today and there is moisture returning to the area. I just don't see the moisture being quite high enough to produce widespread thunderstorm activity. Now, if you watch what happens with the model data going into the 10 p.m. hour, the storms become a little more uh, congregated here and they'll continue uh, moving into better moisture. And so I think the storm uh, threat becomes more widespread as you head out towards San Angelo, Junction, Ozona, locations down along I-10. Whereas here in the basin, it's more of a hit or miss type threat today. Very, very isolated. So I'll call it 10% and I'm a little Little weary about even going that high with it, but I do think at least a few isolated storms are in the offing this afternoon and evening. 81 for the high today, 60 tonight, be about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow morning than it was today. And we'll see 81 again tomorrow afternoon with a 40, maybe even 50% chance of storms, 20% chance of storms on Friday, and a few of those could linger into Saturday. And we'll start to see things clear out Saturday afternoon, evening, and into your Sunday with sunny skies and upper 70s to around 80 this weekend as well.